Hi everyone, we're here to take a look at some reformer exercises. We'll be starting with footwork today. And I want to first go through a general setup for your footwork position. So I like to think of the body being very centered between the shoulder rests. So head right between the two. You're not too far on the right side of the reformer, not too far on the left side. Your body's nice and long. Pelvis is level, so we don't have too much of a tilted under tail and not too much of an overextended tail. So good neutral alignment. So an objective for footwork, in my opinion, is overall alignment of the body and working to align our joints and our bones in those joints. So the first position we're looking at is the Pilates V, very often the first one in your reformer workout. The position of the knee width here is very uh, precise. We want to line the center of the kneecap up with the second toe and that usually is with the sh width of a person's shoulders. Now keep in mind that might be slightly different for everybody. Some people have a bow-legged alignment, some people have different feet and bunions and things, but that's our general setup that we want to look for. Again, the objective here is to start warming up, work on alignment, and start feeling the muscles of the legs getting activated. So I'm gonna have Christy begin to move. Her heels are pressed together. She's on the balls of the feet. She inhales as she stretches and exhales to come in. It's important to uh, feel the back of the legs a little bit more than the front of the legs or the front of the thigh. And that sense of, go ahead and pause for one second, the side here of the legs wrapping to the back of the thigh and underneath and into the inner thigh. So there's a very strong connection from the heel squeeze all the way up, it's very much in line with our spine. She'll keep going through this, about five or six more. Other things to be mindful of uh, the, with the knees is something called hyperextension, which is overextending the knee and pressing too low there. She showed a good example of hyperextension. So how to control that is again with the back of the thighs, those strong hamstrings to support the alignment of the knee and the joints of the knee. One more time, she extends and she comes back in. Next position we'll look at is the prehensile or arches position. It's in parallel now. So we have a more of a leg to leg alignment and you'll notice you're going right on the arch of the foot versus kind of gripping with the toesies there. That's not quite what we're looking for. Looking right at the base of the metatarsals in the arch. Toes are relaxed but yet long over the bar. We want that sense, almost like if my hand's cupping this way, that that's Christie's foot, doing the same thing over this bar. Heels are also kind of downish, rather than up in the first position, so we have a little difference there. Same muscle focus from the back of the thighs, pelvis still level, she inhales as she extends, and exhales to come in. Feel for even use of the feet against the bar, meaning even weight through both legs. You may feel that you're biasing or using one leg more than the other. So feel for even and balanced uh, work in your legs. She's keeping her pelvis level, her rib cage relaxed. This is also starting to open up alignment across the chest, although we're not thinking about that during footwork all the time. But that's part of our alignment as we stand on our two legs, is focusing on our posture. Let's shoot for one more. Inhale as you extend and exhale as you come back in. Third position we'll look at are the heels. And so she lifts her feet and sets those, the center of the heel bones right on the bar. Ankles are together. Inside seam of the foot is together. Toes are pointed straight up to the ceiling. There's quite a bit of energy in the ankle joint. Knees together. Now I want to put my hands here at the base of Christy's feet and kind of pretend to be her floor like I'm on the floor, she's on the floor here. You may see differences along your classes and different teachers of moving the ankle and rocking a little bit or increasing the flexion, but for this purpose we'll keep the feet here. Same thing, press away as you inhale, exhale extend. So we're keeping a mind on that lack of not hyperextending the knees. She's using the back of those legs to help align the thighs, keeping those ankles in flexion, the toes right up to the ceiling, that good level position and neutral spine. So again, see we're really standing on that bar and moving our legs and how that echoes the alignment all the way through our body, so from the feet up. Let's go with one more, Christy, and then pause. 
Final position today is the Achilles tendon stretch or heel lower lift. The changed position, we go to the balls of the feet, um, again, well, balls of feet, toes slightly relaxed, but yet there might be slightly touching the bar. And I want you to lift your heels and keep in mind that we are looking for balance on the feet. So if you lift your heels, watching out that you don't roll out on the outside edge such as that or knock too far in, you may have to limit how high you take your heels for that. But ideally, heels are lifted. That same wrap of the legs, that same initiation from the backside, inhale as you lengthen, you'll pause. Now, this is a, a key point to watch out for those hyperextended knees, which could really show up. You're about to lower your heels with control. Let's take three counts to lower toward my hand, three, and rise, two, three. Lower, 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 and lift, lift. This is a good way to start, I think. So you learn to control how you lower your weight up from that ankle joint, rather than a sudden drop. And she may show us one sudden drop here. Less of that, more, yes, less of that, more control. It's very elastic and strong. Same with the rise. It's not such a sudden pop-up, but rather that slow, controlled lift, lift, lift. Let's do it two more times. Down, 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 rise. She's staying balanced on those feet. Notice that she's not rolling out on the outside edges or too far in. Hold right there. And just take a notice of Chrissy's whole body has stayed very level. Her spine has stayed long, pelvis level. Her ribs haven't done a thrust or an arch, which she may show us here real quick, just a whoop. Her pelvis hasn't shifted. She's got a good sense of alignment from her feet all the way up, which is a great way to start any Pilates workout. And she'll bend her knees to finish. That's a real general look at the footwork. And again, you may see variations with your teachers. Uh, eventually some single leg pieces as well. But that's what we've chosen to show you th th today. Thank you very much.